a bitter legal battle between the guy you've seen in those Dos Equis ads and his talent agency. In the ads, Jonathan Goldsmith is called the most interesting man in the world. In court filings, he's being called a deadbeat. ABC's Nick Watt has the story. He can speak French in Russian. He is the most interesting man in the world. But the man who's played him for 10 years, Jonathan Goldsmith, now knee-deep in the most interesting legal battle. I prefer Dos Equis. Apparently, Goldsmith's preference for Dos Equis intoxicated him into believing that he could ignore his promises. Reads a complaint filed by his manager, who's claiming the captivating chap owes him a cut of close to $2 million in beer money. I don't always drink beer. Or apparently always pay that manager he stopped in November 2014. His two cents is worth $37 and change. The suit declaring there is nothing interesting about being a deadbeat refers to Goldsmith as the least honorable man in the entertainment business. The last time he flirted with danger, danger got clingy. Goldsmith just countersued his manager. My client, I have to tell you, has been in the business for over 50 years. He's an honorable man. He's never cheated anyone. Goldsmith claims by dishing details and dollars involved, his now ex-manager is jeopardizing this gig, calls him a failed C-list actor, now a failed personal manager. Stay thirsty, my friends. As one of the most interesting men in the world, he is a fighter. Well, good morning, America. Nick Watt, ABC News. With complete Los Angeles.